<laughs> hey YouTube, what's going on? It's been uh like always a long time since I've done a video. But uh wanna go over a few things today. I got a little bit of a comic book haul, some newer stuff, a couple back issues. And I finally finished off a rather large run for me. And then at the end, I need some help from the comic book community. But uh just gonna go over some of the issues I bought recently. They're not all the stuff I bought recently, but uh some of the series that I've been kind of reading, and not all of them are on a pull list, but I pick them up when I can. Marine Shang Chi, I uh, picked up issues ten and eleven. That's been so far pretty good. Not a big uh, fan as far as some of the um, Shang Chi stuff in the past, but uh, I find something to read and I like it. I'll read it. Um, I picked up World's Finest number one. I haven't read it yet. Um, I kind of was like. Some of the older World of Fine stuff, some of the, I had some single issues back when I was a kid. Like those, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, picked up Captain Carter 1. Here's number 2. First issue I like pretty well. This is the one I've not been catching up on. I'm, I'm probably like four or five issues behind um, Time Before Time. This is number 10. So far, I, I've kind of liked it. Um, but with me, if I want to buy some, I'm going to keep buying it. <laughs> so, regardless if I read it or not. But um, so far, what I think I've read. First um, six, seven issues, I've liked it so far, so enough to keep buying it, I guess. And Captain America Iron Man, number five, which I have not read yet. A <laughs> um, couple of just some dollar back issues I bought. I picked up this challenge, issues three and issues eight. I don't know if I had three. I'm pretty sure I didn't have number eight, um, but I do have the CLZ app right now. That wasn't in there yet, so I'm going to go through and add those in there. And then I picked up, I think this is this this the run I've heard quite a bit about, but I picked up Starman issue one. Again, I haven't read it yet, but I think that's the one I've heard some good stuff about. So this book is the one that I needed to finish off this run, and I'm not a stickler on mint condition, or I just, I just need it, I just need an issue, you know. As long as it's, the cover's intact and all the pages are there and I can read the story. Not a huge, you know, I don't care about creases or anything, but I finally picked up Defenders issue number 10. This completes my Defenders run. Um, I'm glad to say I have not, this is probably the, the biggest book I've paid for out of the whole run. Most of them I picked up for relatively cheap dollar, a couple dollars, five dollars at the most. Obviously, this is probably one of the pricier books besides issue one um, in the series. It's got the chipping down here and a tape pull on the cover. But I didn't realize it, but this is actually a Mark Jewelers insert bonus, I guess. I don't know. Got it off eBay, which I don't typically like to do. Um, but I'm never going to find this book that I think it was like 35, 40 bucks. So that wasn't, wasn't a whole lot. Um, but yes, now I can hopefully finally sit down and and read them all. Um, when I first got on YouTube, I hooked up with everybody knows. Remember Incredible CJ, um, but he was putting together the Defenders run, and I had some doubles, so I reached out to him, um, sent him a bunch of books, which he ended up selling me some of the ones that I needed from his collection that he finished his after his run. Um, he kept ten and some other ones, some of the key issues, but there's quite a few. Um, that I didn't have that I purchased from him. So I helped him. He helped me. Um, and he's kind of one of the people I always give, I guess, credit to um, me starting to do videos on, on Facebook. I don't know if I should thank him for, or throat punch him. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, it's been, I don't know, what, eight years now? Going on eight years? So, yeah. So, finally finished my Divinity's run. Happy about that. Um, so, yeah. And another thing, I think I'm close to 400 subscribers, which is crazy. I don't usually pay attention to my subscribers. I pick up a here, one or two here or there. Um, but I think I'm like four, 385. So, I don't know. I, I, I have I've been planning on doing a contest. I haven't done a contest in so long. I'm more inclined just to send people stuff, you know, if I find it, um, which I've done quite a bit. Um, but I think I will... Do a contest if maybe at 400. If not, hopefully I get this room done. So I gotta hang. I still gotta put a shelf up. It's been so long, so I want to definitely gotta get a, a room tour in here. And I do have an idea of a contest. 
um, in mind. So yeah, so look for that. Um, now, this is where I need the community's help. Here in Buffalo, and I believe it's in Calgary, um, every year they do is called an 11-day power play. An 11-day power play is basically a continuous hockey game for 11 days. Um, every year they break the record by like one or two minutes. So Buffalo will break the record, and then Calgary will break the record. So it's kind of a little rival, go back and forth. Um, they've raised, they try to raise, they pretty much have raised over a million dollars every year for cancer research. And this year, I am fortunate to be able to be playing in this game. And the, I think the first year they did it here in Buffalo, they had 40 guys. They played for 11 days straight. They slept at the rink. They ate at the rink. They did everything at the rink, and they rotated for 11 days straight. Um, I think recently they've opened up, which is called the 11 day power play community shift where two teams will compete in a three hour time slot. So our time slot is luckily <laughs> 3 PM to 6 PM on June 30th. So for three hours straight, I'll be part of a team that will be playing ice hockey along with my son. Um, he's going to be 14 at the time. I'll be almost 50 and he will skate circles around me all day. <laughs> But yeah, I think it's going to be a blast. Um, and, and they and they raise money. I don't know for cancer research here in Buffalo, but for Roswell Park Cancer Center, Make a Wish in West New York, Camp Good Days, Osai Children's Cancer and Blood Disorder programs. So, yeah, cancer affects everybody. I don't think I know anybody who who hasn't been affected by cancer, um, including myself. Uh, my mother had passed away, going on fifteen years now of colorectal cancer, um, which unfortunate was a week before we found out my wife was pregnant with my son, Alex. So unfortunately he never got the chance to meet his grandmother. Uh, that's who I'll be playing for in honor of her. And, uh, also both my in-laws, my mother-in-law is survivor of not only breast cancer, but bladder cancer. And my father-in-law also has been a survivor of bladder cancer. So that's kind of who my son is going to be honoring during his community shift. So I am going to link, leave a link in the description below. Um, I'm just, everybody likes to ask for donations. I'm not asking for a large donations. I'm trying to raise a minimum of $500. That's my minimum for my team participation. I would like to get more, but $500. I have reached uh, up to hundred dollars donations right now. A really good friend of mine surprisingly donated a hundred bucks by himself, but I love him. He's, he's a great guy. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. And I tried to ask for donations, but what I'm only asking for is $11. That's it. No more, no less $11. If we can help eradicate cancer, $11 at a time, I think that'd be great. So yeah, so please, if you can't donate, maybe share, um, share it on Facebook. If you're uh, friends with me on Facebook, I do have um, a post, which I'll be sharing again, recent, um, again recently soon. Um, but yeah, so just do what you can. If not, you know, say a prayer or two for uh, family or friends who are suffering from this horrible disease. Whew, <laughs> got that a little... A little easier than I thought it was going to. But yeah, that's all. I said I want to do just a really quick one. Going on nine minutes now. Um, yeah, I won't take up too much of your time anymore. So I guess we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.